and biking enthusiasts might like this. New rules in place in Cerro San Luis, also known as Madonna Mountain, allow nighttime access to the popular trail. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from that trailhead with what you need to know. Alexa. Richard and Kathy, if you do in fact plan on hiking this trail at night, keep in mind you will need a permit. All you need to do is come to the trailhead. You can go ahead and scan the QR code. It'll direct you to the city's website. You click right here and it'll take less than 30 seconds to sign up. Around noon on Wednesday, Cerro San Luis was popular among hikers and bikers. Hours later, when the sun sets, others can now enjoy it too. I would totally do it. I think you find like a date night. It definitely encourages people to get out more, you know, be active. Um, and also it's cooler at night. This new sign is posted at the trailhead. A permit is required after 6 p.m. Two and a half hours later, the trail closes at 8.30 p.m. That's two and a half hours more hiking and biking time people can utilize. It's a two-year pilot project at this open space only, so all the other ones still have the regular rules. As part of the project, the city is collecting stats on how many people are using it. Since it kicked off just 10 days ago, we are seeing about 20 permits pulled per day. Weekdays seem to be the most popular. Keep in mind you won't be out there alone. Here are some images from game cameras that will be used to see if the nighttime access has any effects on animal movement. Opponents to the project voiced this as a major concern. It disturbs the nocturnal habitat for the animals. Others point out safety. It can be a little more dangerous. If you need a rescue, it can be harder. Rangers are there at night checking to make sure you have a permit. We are extending people into this time a little bit, um, and we are adding a couple additional staff to help with this pilot project. A permit is free and only 65 permits are issued each night. And we want them to be, you know, smart users of open space, following the rules and the regulations so that there aren't rescues or other situations going on. And the ranger says if you go ahead and come out here, you'll definitely want a flashlight as well as a cell phone and the buddy system. For now, live and local in San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. All right, Alexa, thank you. You will need a permit from now through March. If you do not have a permit, you can face a fine of up to $561.